Masks have been at the center of plenty of debate since the start of the COVID pandemic. Now they may be making a comeback in New York schools. The state is recommending kids wear them again as three respiratory viruses are sweeping across the area. CBS News' John Diaz has a look at how parents are reacting. Outside PS84 on the Upper West Side, it's not just COVID concerns that have parents masking up their kids again. It's the so-called triple-demic. I think it can't hurt. I'd rather my kid not get sick um, and protect her friends. And now, New York State is reviving this recommendation, saying kids should mask up again in schools. Explaining in a letter, quote, a host of respiratory viruses, including influenza, RSV, and COVID-19, have taken hold in our state and in most of our communities. These viruses, while often manageable, can cause serious outcomes, especially for children. While it's not a requirement, it's still drawing mixed reactions from parents. I totally agree with that. It's great that they're recommending we should take a lot of guidance from them. We've gotten vaccinated, so I think you should have the choice. I'm choosing to, vac uh, to mask. I think if other people don't want to, I think they shouldn't have to. They can recommend whatever they want, and I think the parents have the last say in terms of what their kids do regarding their health. The medical director for primary care at Columbia University Medical Center welcomes the new recommendations, mostly to help stop the spread of the flu. The flu is going crazy. It's been it's tripled in the last three weeks. But it's the three viruses that have been straining the state's health care system, and hospitals are short on beds across New York. Recently, Cohen Children's Medical Center on Long Island had to take away 75 beds from adults to give to children for RSV. Some doctors say they have seen some patients with more than one virus at the same time. Because if you have one, you already have a very weak immune system. And the mask mandate in schools ended this past March when that surge we saw in COVID cases due to the the Omicron variant began to take a dive. From the Upper West Side, John Diaz, CBS 2 News.